Hmm. First verse, yo. Time to get funky. The very first shape we're gonna do is a prism, and math is kinda hard, so don't give us criticism. L equals P times H, that's right. Lateral area is perimeter times height. Now the volume of a prism is just height times space area. It seems a little tough, but don't go into hysteria. Now we're done with that, let's move on. So look over here at this cylinder we've drawn. The lateral area is H2 pi R. Now add the bases and you'll be a star. The volume though is height times pi R squared. We're gonna continue, so make sure you're prepared. The pyramid is gonna be our final shape. This rap isn't over, so don't try to escape. The lateral area is half of base times slant. It's not so hard, you don't have to rant. Base area times height divided by three. That's the volume, it ain't hard to see. Wait, I don't get it. All right, let's boo boo boo. Break it down. First, you find base perimeter in inches, miles, or centimeters. Don't forget those units, dog. Then multiply by the height of the side. Divide it all by two and do it with pride. If base equals two and height equals four, L equals eight. Ready for one more? Let's do the volume of a cube. Multiply all sides, you get S cubed. The base length is eight, then all the sides are eight, and the volume would be 512. You're doing great. So that's our wrap. Hope you understood. But even if you didn't, it's all good. We're out, yo. Oh, 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 check it out. Yeah. Oh. 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 I like this. Yeah. Now, for